Hi, I'm happy to see you back to another PTC MathCAD short clip. In this one, as it seems that a common question beginners have is how to type text versus math, we will be working with these region types located on the math tab and exemplify them quickly in order to insert computations and content. And so we have the math regions, the text blocks and the text boxes, all having also keyboard shortcuts as well, depending on how it's easier and faster for one to use them. For math though, we can directly type in the worksheet. Since MathCAD is mainly a math and engineering software, therefore it will recognize what we type as math. From this point on, we can add our variables, constants, operators, and make our calculations. In the first example, we define x to be 20, y with a value of 5, and sum them up to get our result. When we click near x in the math box, uh, we'll see it labeled automatically as a variable, and we can uh, use uh, different types of operators, just like we did for addition. These are located in the operators group. Constants are also recognized automatically. If we type E, we'll see its value, and by clicking near it, we'll uh, see its uh, label as well. Going further to text regions, depending on what fits your needs best, you'll um, choose one of those, either a text box or a text block. And let's see now the difference between the two of them. The text box can be stretched and it can be moved anywhere in the MathCAD worksheet. And then the text block goes across the, the whole page and it can only be moved up or down. So if we select it, we can only move it uh, like that. Now comes the awesome part, something that only few software can provide and MathCAD does best, in my opinion. Active math inside the documentation, which leads us to the next example, where we insert a text box and say that the variable A is defined as now we are going to insert a math region and actually define um, A so it is taken into consideration in further calculations. Go outside this math region and continue our text where G is the gravitational acceleration. Let's stretch this a bit. We could have used a text block just as well. Now, when we go outside of it and evaluate A or use it in a calculation, we will see our result. Let us pick one last example from the PTC MathCAD worksheet libraries. Here we can observe in a better way how smoothless the interpose between math and text really is. With MathCAD, you can have both your calculations and documentation into one single place with no help from additional programs. Better yet, both math and text can be uh, formatted, so let's also do that to demonstrate uh, this last point. Math from the Math Formatting tab and um, text from the Text Formatting tab. Thank you for watching.